hello guys uh, in this video we are going to create this movie app so this is a small app uh, that shows some movies name and its rating with an with an overview and we have we are also going to implement a search functionality where when we type something and click it it will filter and show uh, the data here so this is uh, this is just a, a small app so we are going to build this. Uh, this is go this is taken from the 50 projects in 50 days course by Travis Media. Uh, you can check the link for more description on that. We are going to use an API called TMDB, and we are using that API to get all the data in here, and we'll be loading that data in this card format and showing it here. So uh, we are using the template that we were previously using the link to creating this template is in the cards you can check that out uh, we are using live server so that every change that we do here is reflected simultaneously in the browser so let's get into the video and let's begin by editing the html and uh, we'll name the title of the page as a movie app and in the movie app uh, there is a header so just like you saw uh, there is a header uh, which has a search bar so we'll create a form with the id of form and we do not want an action uh, so inside the form uh, we'll create an input field with the id of search and a class of search so this will be the input field uh, we'll add a Place, placeholder for that so set the placeholder text as search and we'll save that so now the header is here uh, now let's create let's create a main tag it will have an id of main and all the data in the main tag will be dynamically loaded uh, when the page loads uh, but for the styling part, we'll we'll create everything in here, and once we style that, we'll uh, we'll dynamically load the data using JavaScript. Every movie uh, is in a card, so every card is set div with the class of movie, and in the div uh, there is the image, and the source for the uh, image uh, is an unsplash image. I'll just paste that image here and we'll set the alt text as uh, say image in uh, beneath the image tag we'll create a, a div with a class of movie info movie info and in the movie info uh, we'll create an h3 tag which will have the uh, movie title and be, uh, beneath it there we will add a span uh, and this span is uh, the rating here so for example 9.8 and based on this class here uh, the color of the rating will change so in, in the app when we you can see that uh, there is a, a, a an orange color for 6.3 and 8 for 8 in green color for Tom and Jerry and red for uh, less than 5 so we'll create uh, this color change will be based on uh, the class here so let's go back and beneath uh, the movie info we'll create an overview div and the overview will 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 just add a lorem ipsum and we'll save that so now there's a search bar and, and the text is here uh, we'll just copy this movie div multiple times so that it will be easy for us to uh, to style the html page so now the three pages are here so that's all we need for the html and now we'll start with the css uh, first we'll change the font so we'll select the roboto font and hit ctrl d and we'll set the font as poppins and hit escape to go back 
and we'll change the font weight to 200 and we'll save that so now uh, we'll remove everything except uh, the font family and margin we do not want uh, it to be a flex and first uh, we'll add a background color so we'll be using this background color uh, multiple times so we'll uh, we'll define it in the root scope so in root we'll set a primary color two 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 five four b and we'll set a second secondary color as well so secondary color and we'll set this as 373 b69 we'll save that and we'll be using the these colors again and again so in the body we'll set the background color and we'll set it as the primary color so we'll do where and we'll select the primary color and save so now the color has been changed so now first let's style the header and we'll get the header tab and first uh, we'll add a padding of one rem so this gives a, a bit of space there then we'll display flex so that everything is in a row we'll align this search bar to the end of this so to do that we'll do justify content flex end so now the search bar is in the in the corner and uh, we'll set the background color of of the header as uh, secondary color so where secondary color we'll save that now let's uh, style the search bar so we'll set the background color as transparent and we'll set uh, change the border there so we'll do border and we'll keep a two pixel border solid and we want the color to be the primary color and save that uh, we want we want to give it a padding so we'll give a padding of 0.5 rem top and bottom and one rem left and right we'll add a border radius as well so border radius of 50 pixel so we'll increase the font size as well to one rem uh, we'll change the color color of the text so we'll set the text color as white also we want to inherit the font family okay uh, when we click here you can see there is an outline so we do not want that so uh, when the search bar uh, is in focus we want to remove the outline also we want to uh, set the background color um, to primary so so now when we click there you can see that uh, the tech, uh, the color of the text input field has changed uh, we want to change the color of the placeholder so to do that we do dot search placeholder and we will set the color as 737 8c5 so now it's a, a purplish color so that's all we need for the uh, search bar now let's style this uh, these cards so first let's uh, take the image so movie 
image and we'll set the width as 100 percentage and we'll set the movie width as so movie width is 300 pixel so now everything is in a in a small container we want everything uh, to be in a in a kind of like a row so so we'll take the main tag and we'll uh, display flex so that everything every uh, every child is aligned as a flex row i think there is no class called me so we'll just remove this dot from here so now everything is uh, displayed as flex and we want it to wrap so flex wrap wrap and we we'll justify content center and for the movie what we want is uh, we want to give a margin so that there is a gap in between we will give a margin of one rem okay uh, we will give a border ra border radius of three pixels so that it's a bit bit rounded we'll add a box shadow of uh, 0.2 pixel x-axis offset um, 4 pixel y-axis offset 5 pixel blur and we will give the color as RGBA 0.1 so it's a black color so now we can see there is a, a small shadow uh, underneath the card uh, we'll set the background color of the card so background not this background color and we will set it as the secondary color so black secondary color so now there is a, a bit of difference there also we want to uh, position everything inside the card as relative so that we can uh, we can position this overview as uh, absolute so we will set uh, position relative and we will also hide the overflow Now let's style uh, the text here. So we'll take the movie info. And we'll set the color as white. Kind of white. And we'll display flex so that uh, it's it's in a row now it's in a row but uh, the head uh, margin of this title is too much so that is why there is a difference in height here so we will take remove the margin top so uh, movie info h3 margin top 0 So now it's a uh, it's in a row. So in the flex, uh, we align items to the center, and we will justify the content such that uh, it's on on two different ends. So we will set as uh, space between. So now it's on the on the two end. Now we'll add a padding of 0.5 rem top and bottom and one rem left and right and one rem bottom. And we'll also set the letter spacing to 0.5 pixel. 
now uh, let's let's type this rating here so movie movie info span and we will set the background color to primary color and we will set a padding of 0.25 run top and bottom and 0.5 run left and right uh, we will also set a, a border radius of uh, 3 pixel uh, same as that of card we will also set the font weight as bold ok now uh, we want to style it such a way that when the class is green we want the font text to be green when movie info span dot green and we want the color to be light green so now it's light green we will copy the same thing and we change the colors for orange and red so here we want orange we will change the color to orange and here we want red and we will change the color as red then we want to uh, style this overview so now there is no overview text here so we just add that so here in the overview class we will add an h3 tag and we will type overview we we'll save that now come to, coming back to the CSS we will take the overview class and we will position it absolute we want to position it uh, left 0 right 0 and we, are, we want bottom 0 as well so now it's there uh, we want to set a background color of white white uh, we want to give the padding as well so padding of one run we want to give it a max height and we want it to have the max height of 100 percentage which is the uh, height of the card and we also we also want it uh, to come from down when we hover it so the way we can do that is in the initial position itself we will push it uh, down so we will add a transform property and we will do translate y and we will push it down one not one percentage so even if uh, the overview tab takes 100 percentage of the viewport height when when we push it one not one percentage down it will be uh, below visible area so now so i i typed one minus one not one it is not minus we want it to go down so it's uh, plus one not one so now it's not there and we want to position it uh, when when we hover over the card so when we hover our movie then we want the overview class to transform translate y and want to translate back to zero so now when we hover over it you can see that it comes back but there is no transition in there so we'll add a transition to the overview so we want to transition to the trans transform property and we will give it a 0.3 second transition 
with an effect of UC. So now when we hold it, it slides slowly into the frame. So uh, that's all the styling that we need. Now le let's begin the JavaScript. So in the JavaScript, we'll be we'll be using an API uh, called TMDB, and we'll be using that API to get all the all the data that we see here. To do that, we'll open the TMDB website. Okay, um, so in this TMDB website, uh, I am currently logged in, logged in. You need to sign up to get the API. Uh, so in the mode, we'll, uh, we'll get the API here. And here, when we click uh, the developers, the moviedb.org, we'll be redirected to this page. And when we click the API link here, so uh, we'll be getting we'll be going to the place where we can create the api key so for for me uh, i have already created the api key so you can just uh, click here and add an add an application and in that way you can get this api key so we'll add that api key here so const api key equal to so save that so now uh, we we'll just keep it here so now we we have the API key. Uh, now we want to call this API so when we go to the uh, documentation of API and we click discover examples we can see there are different uh, different examples that are given here so we'll first uh, go through this which is uh, movie and uh, we'll get the popular movies and uh, list them in the different page uh, but we need uh, the base url so it's somewhere over here yeah that, this is one uh, api dot the movie db so we add that to the js file here so base url go to so in this example you can see that there is a, there is this slash discover uh, movie sort by popularity so this will give uh, the popular movie status in the database so this is this will be the first page that will be going so this one uh, so we will we'll name it as the api url so const api url equal to base url so base url so it is com base url is common for every URL, uh, every api and there uh, at the end we will add this part so this part will give the uh, we list by popularity so we will delete the slash from there because we already have a slash here and it will sort by popularity uh, in descending manner and we also want to add the api key to the end of it so how this api key works is uh, there will be the base url which is uh, what i mentioned here so this one and there is the endpoint here and after that uh, there is this query parameters so we have to pass the api key as a parameter to this so to do that uh, we'll put an ampersand here and for, for the ease of uh, use, we are, so at the end of every uh, API that we hit, we want to put the API key. So we'll just add uh, the API underscore key equal to here itself so that it's easier uh, for us to uh, concatenate it. So we'll just add the API key here and we we'll save that. So now we want to uh, call this API URL. So if we try to call this API URL from the browser, you can see uh, what we get. So we'll just uh, 
do what we have done here so we'll first put the base base url then we'll uh, paste the uh, endpoint and then uh, we'll add the api key at the end and we click enter you can see it gives a json response it has a lot of data and we'll be using just uh, just a few of them and yeah that's all we'll be using so when the when the page loads we want to we want to call a function called uh, get movies so function get movies and we we'll pass a url here and we want want to uh, fetch the url and show the movies that we get from the uh, get from the data as response in here so so we'll uh, use the fetch api and we'll pass the url and we'll use the dot then method so dot then response and we'll get the response.json and then we'll get the data now when we uh, get the data we we'll just uh, console this data to see what we have so that's all we'll be doing uh, now so we'll just console the data and this will not work now because uh, we have not we are not calling this function so we just call this function above it and we'll pass the api url as the url for this function and we'll save that now if we take the console we can see that there is an object here and it will have all the all the movies that we want to show here so it will give uh, the first 20 movies at first uh, we can also do pagination if you want to but we are not going to do that now um, so now we want to uh, use this data to show the movies here so we'll we'll use a, a function called show movies and we'll pass the data in here and we'll create this show movies uh, at the end of this get movies function so we we'll do function show movies and we'll have a data so we do not need to pass the whole data here we can just pass the results so since that's all we need for uh, showing showing the movies here so we we'll just pass the results object and we uh, so result is basically an array so you can see that uh, results is an array of 20 elements so we can loop through each of them and show all the data so um, so we can do data dot for each and for each movie we want to do something so first uh, for each movie we want to create this card so how can we create this card uh, we'll create a div at first so we'll do const movie element so movie l is equal to document dot create element and we we'll create a div and we'll add a class list to it so uh, we'll add a class of movie and then we'll add the data so uh, if we see the html here so this is the movie div and inside here we have all the data so that's what we are going to do so uh, we'll dynamically add that so movie l dot inner h inner html 
equal to uh, we'll use the template tool format and we stand the now we'll just uh, copy these elements from here and we'll paste them here and we'll change the uh, data inside each of them so for the image how we are, how we are going to get this image so if we look at the object here you can see there is this poster path but we only have a, a path here and not the entire url so we need to build the rest of the url from here so if we go to the documentations uh, in here uh, in here uh, when we click images so here uh, you can see that uh, to show the image uh, you can use this url so this is the part that we uh, get from the get from the api and we need to concatenate this part as well so we just copy the copy the url and we'll add that here so we'll do const image url equal to this and we'll save that so now we need to get the this end part so end part we we are getting from the api response here so we we need to uh, get that out so i remove the console so we add back so that we can see can see the data we need the image here we need the movie title here we need the rating here then we want uh, the overview okay so uh, the way we are going to do that is uh, we will we'll use uh, object destructuring uh, that is in javascript so here we will create const we will add a curly basis and we will add the title comma we need the poster path which is the image path uh, we need the vote average which is the rating for the movie then we need the overview and we will get that from the movie object so which is this and in here it's all these data so we will get that now we want to construct the image url so we will put dollar and we will put the create curly braces and we will uh, concatenate the image url so image url uh, we need the uh, poster path so we will put the poster underscore path ok uh, we will set the title as the alt text so we will set it as title and we will copy the title here and we will paste it inside this this h3 tag then uh, we will set the vote average as well so we will put dollar curly braces and vote average uh, and to get the class we will uh, call a function and based on that function's return value will set the class here so that function will be uh, based on this vote, vote average so so get say color so in this color uh, we pass the vote average so when we when this function is called uh, it will return a, a, a string which will be the color uh, that will be corresponding to this vote average so uh, that's how we'll get the color class here then we'll add the overview so we'll set it as overview so now if, now if we say that you can set get color is not defined so we we'll define that uh, below the show movie function so function get color and we will pass the port here and 
if the vote is greater than or equal to 8 uh, we want to return the green color so green else if uh, the vote is greater than or equal to say 5 you want to return the orange color so orange and we want it to be a string and else we want to return the red red so that's all there is here but the problem now is we are not showing that data here so we need to show that here and the way we can do that is we have this main tag here and we can dynamically add all the movie tags in here so uh, we'll go back to the script.js and get uh, get that main tag here so const main equal to document dot get element by id and we pass the main tag and before looping uh, we want to set the inner text or inner html as an empty string so so that every time in the when this function is called uh, there is a blank slate to work with and then uh, at the end of this uh, at the end of it we want to append all the elements into that main tag so what we'll do is we we'll get main dot append child and we'll pass this movie element so now when we say that you can see all the movies have been loaded here and it's working as as expected so you can see that there is uh, the color coding on the on the rating uh, green red and orange so the, uh, all three colors are working now there is one more thing that we want to do we want to uh, function this search bar so the way we can do that is we can get the form so uh, we will copy this document dot get element by id and we will take the form so and we will also take the search bar so search equal to document dot get element by id and we will put the id as search and when the when enter is pressed or when the form is submitted so we want to listen to that event so form dot add event listener and we want to listen to the event of submit and when this form is submitted we want to call this function and so since that it is a, a form we would want to prevent a default submission so we'll do e dot Prevent default, and here uh, we will we'll call this function. So, so which function? Uh, this get movies function, which will call the show movies function, and hence the the image will uh, data will be loaded here. So we need a URL to call the get movies function. So we need to form that URL first. Let's get the search term const search term equal to search dot value then if search term exists then we want to uh, call the get movies function with the search parameter so we need uh, to call the api with the search parameter so uh, when we go to the docs here so uh, to find the data you can use this slash search endpoint 
and it will give a text-based search in a common way so here we are using the slash discover uh, to find the uh, find the, uh, find the popularity and based on that we'll get the url so we need to form a search url as well so const search url just like the other url so we add a base url and we'll concatenate with slash search slash movie and after that we'll add the api key so api key and at the end of it uh, we can add uh, the query, query parameters so that the api will search based on that so so let me just show you that so it's the search url here so we just get movies based on search and at the end of that we'll uh, concatenate a, a slash since it's not here and we'll add the search parameter at the end of it search term so now when we save that and go back here and then we search hard here it doesn't show anything let's just check the console you cannot read the property for each of undefined okay so the issue was uh, we want to add it as a query parameter and not just as a slash so we'll do amp ampersand and then we'll add a query equal to and then we'll add a search term now we save that and just like the old time read hard and enter you can see all the movies uh, that has the name hard in it has been uh, brought to the front and it's been lower so now if we clear the hard and just enter it will not do anything so which is entering this else condition so we want to uh, get the movies uh, that was in the home page so we'll just copy this we we'll just get movies from the basic famous url or the api url and we'll just paste that here so now uh, it's showing the the movies that were that that are popular and then we search based on say something say woman and that's how we'll uh, search by search by the name of movement and all the data has been loaded overview uh, rating the movie name and the movie image so and when we clear the search and when we enter it it's it goes back to the original page so that's all uh, there is in this project and hope you learned something from this video if you did uh, do let me know uh, we can do a lot of things with this. Uh, this we can do pagination and things like that uh, and further extend this this project so we we have not gone into that area uh, the code for this uh, is in the github repo you can check that out uh, link to that is in the description so thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one